Hey, what is going on, guys? This is AZ Ballin, and uh, I got an got an update for you guys on uh, some Modern Warfare 3 modding. Um, I'm reading 402's Twitter, aka Robert Bowling, the community manager for uh, Infinity Ward, and it says, um, "Player banned for 5,000 days." Yes, if you see this message, it means you've been permanently been banned uh, for something bad. And um, so basically, I uh, looked over here, and it says banned for 5,000 days. And it says, uh, when the team behind Modern Warfare 3 talked up the new banning system, they meant business. One player who uh, shall remain anonymous has been banned for 5,000 days. That's about 14 years without being able to access the Modern Warfare 3 servers. As you can see, um, or you can't see, but uh, he right here it says he's already served his first two days of his sentence. So uh, he's got 4,998 days remaining. So if you guys uh if you're those modders, uh, I would not try to mod and model for three. Just uh, an update. And I want to talk about the the banning system. Now I'm all for modding as long as it's, it's not online on multiplayer. As long as it's offline, split screen, uh, playing with your friends, having fun, modding zombies but not actually online multiplayer making the game so you're automatically the highest rank or they derank you and you're the lowest rank or just giving you all the weapons and attachments and everything that's that's not okay some people might like that but a lot of people don't so yeah you better watch out you don't want to get banned so uh, don't cheat stay clean you know don't uh, don't mod, don't hack, unless it's JD2020. No, I'm kidding. Um, but seriously, if you mod, you're gonna get banned, and I'm pretty sure their banning system is a lot better than uh, Black Ops's banning system. Yes, I've modded plenty in my life, and I've it's come back to bit me in the butt. Um, but that's that's learning, and you gotta deal with it. I. The first time I modded it was, I think it was Halo 2, um, but then I didn't actually get banned. Uh, the only time I've been banned was by Microsoft, and that was because I put an email in my bio, and I was like, screw this, and it was, I got banned for just putting an email in my bio, it was really stupid, and yeah, I've been suspended a couple of times for modding. Um, but I've really only modded for uh, for zombies on World at War, and I've never and I went back to World at War to play it after Black Ops got boring, and there was just constant modders, modders, modders. Like I couldn't get into a game without having someone modding, and it's like, okay, can we please just play the game and not mod? And I also uh, I had Black I got Black Ops for the PC. And I'm trying to join a game, and every game is modded on the, the servers. And if they're not modded, they're usually laggy. And I'm like, oh, that PC gaming was supposed to be fun. Like, more fun than regular Xbox and console gaming in general. And it it was really cool for... It was a different type, uh, type of style playing. It was really cool and all, but they need to fix the servers or something. Because every time there was a public server... That was just regular, there was no one on it whatsoever. So it was either modded or it was laggy. So I stopped playing that for the PC. And yeah, I'm glad that Infinity Ward is stepping up and taking action, unlike uh, Modern Warfare 2. And that was the worst experience. They they modded everything and they didn't give a crap. They didn't, they banned, they did one ban sweep and that's it. And then people found out how to mod it again. They went back to modding. They tried to fix it. Fixed it for a little bit. And then after that, people found out how to mod again. And so this time it's actually good that they're taking charge and banning people for what they deserve. And yeah. People shouldn't be allowed to get away with that stuff. Going into modded lobby and running around, shooting YouTubes everywhere. It was fun at first on Modern Warfare 2. When uh, it was the infinite ammo glitch, we just kept on shooting and shooting without reloading. And then after a while, it's like, yeah, this is pretty cool, but um, let's play some regular stuff now. 
And I think I think they should actually make modding into a private match, but uh, so it's not like online modding, but you could still mod privately with your friends, and that'd be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, just stick to stick to offline modding. Um, online modding is not good. You can get banned. People will uh will try to hack you, or I don't know. Just don't try to mod on a. Model for three is my best advice, cause you don't want to get banned. And I heard this one guy bought three PS threes, you know, six PS threes, and he just boosted himself all the way up to the highest level. It's like, really? You're, you're so bad at the game, you have to buy six PS threes and mod or boost all the way up to the highest prestige. It's pretty sad. But that's all I have for you guys. Um, just. Don't unsubscribe to me. I'm not making that much videos. It's almost time for winter, winter break. Um, and uh, me and my friends are going to be doing a Let's Play for uh, Minecraft and Terraria. And this one's actually real. We're get, we have like five to six people that are uh, they're going to be in the Let's Play. And we have some pretty funny conversations. And uh, hopefully that will turn out good. Well, that's all I have for you guys. You can uh, enjoy watching this gameplay if you want. I uh, used the AK-47 with the red dot on, and this was the map was hard hat, and I believe I had uh, I had a kill. I don't remember what my kill streaks were. I know at the end, I think I was one away from my Osprey. I'm not positive, but yeah, I'll see you guys later, and uh, just stay subscribed and be updated, and I'll come up with some new videos pretty soon. So I'll see you guys later. Delta, you've got a friendly Cobra inbound. Friendly Predator missile inbound.